You need to be prepared, my precious child, since this is not your last destination, according to God. To understand God's purpose via this message, watch the video all the way to the conclusion. By urging us to look beyond our current predicament and be ready for the adventure that lies ahead, God wants to establish a doorway to knowledge and contemplation. It serves as a gentle reminder that life is a series of changes, with each one pointing us closer to our ultimate goal and the future we've always imagined for ourselves. No matter how permanent your current situation seems, keep in mind that it is just a transitory section. Every moment brings new opportunities, and there are endless roads that can take you wherever you want to go. Whatever you're going through right now, difficulties, triumphs, or no triumphs at all, is molding you, instructing you, and strengthening you for the future. The cocooned caterpillar in the shadows should not be overlooked. Transform it into a butterfly by starting with a caterpillar and working your way up. You may feel confined by your present circumstances, much like the caterpillar you're becoming, but they're essential to your development and progress. So live them, study them, and let them propel you forward so you're ready for what's to come. Foster an attitude of growth and resilience. There will be many challenges in life, but how you overcome them will determine your path. When you live your life to the fullest, keep your flexibility and are willing to change your mentality in the face of adversity. You may turn obstacles into opportunities. Gather your mental, emotional, and spiritual resources for the trip by engaging in self-reflection, learning your strengths and limitations, and developing a connection to your inner self. You may connect with your purpose and find your way by practicing meditation, praying, or just spending time in nature. Developing a vision for your future and making plans to make it a reality are two more essential steps. First, figure out where you need to go. Then, using your imagination, draw the steps leading backwards. To make your objectives more manageable, break them down into smaller tasks and record your progress as you go. Always keep in mind that the journey itself is as memorable as your final holiday location. Stay receptive to opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Life itself is an excellent educator and every experience, no matter how good or bad, teaches us something valuable. Keep an open mind, ask questions, and by no means stop learning. Your ability to forge forward in preparation is directly proportional to your level of knowledge. To find inner peace and enlightenment, join our non-secular family now by clicking the join button and being a part of our change. Travel. Learn to be patient and accept the process. It is easy to come across as irritable or disheartened when dealing with certain changes and adjustments that require time. Realize that no matter how little a step forward, it is progress. Every step of your journey is bringing you closer to your destination, and I believe that you are being led. Gather a group of encouraging people around you, whether they be friends, family or mentors. When times go bad, surround yourself with supportive friends who will think of you, provide advice, and offer comfort. They might be of assistance. Get ready to let go of what isn't serving you as you approach your final goal. This may indicate a shift in conduct, leave toxic relationships, or move far away from places that stunt your development. Letting go isn't easy, but it's necessary to provide space for exciting new possibilities and studies that will lead you to your final desire. Incorporate the journey with appreciation and delight. You may find reasons to be thankful even when situations are tough. Embrace the here and now to revel in your accomplishments and look forward to the future with hope and joy. Please don't think that this is your last destination. It is only temporary. Every event you go through on your trip will help you get closer to your ultimate goal. Get ready by developing an optimistic outlook, getting oneself ready for trade, setting goals, and welcoming the process with tenacity and appreciation. Stay awake for the beautiful places that lie ahead. Trust that you are being led. God has promised that the value of my expensive baby will increase daily this week, providing more than enough for my family, 
my grandkids and myself. This is a significant promise, a guiding light that shows the way forward with the possibility of plenty and financial stability. It's a guarantee that your basic necessities will be covered, and it also gives you peace of mind that your loved ones and future generations will be safe. The significance of trust, being ready for the advantages that are on the way, and practicing good fiscal stewardship are all emphasized in this sermon. Never lose sight of the fact that the potential for a monetary boom is about much more than just amassing riches. Being able to provide for your family, provide a future for your grandkids, and have a lasting positive impact on your community are all important aspects of financial security. This is a term for preparing your heart and mind for what's to come, for exercising good control over these advantages, and for using them in a manner that is consistent with your beliefs and God's purposes so that you may reap the financial rewards. First things first, take stock of your current financial status. Evaluate your assets and debts. Get a handle on your income and expenses and make clear attainable goals for your financial future. This financial planning process is critical because it lays the groundwork for responsible growth management. Afterwards, think back on making or reviewing your budget. With the guidance of a budget, you may organize your finances in a way that meets your requirements, the needs of your family, and your savings goals while leaving room for future expenditures. Take control of your money so it reflects this change. If you want to be financially abundant, you need to figure out ways to save and invest money, be forgiving, and share your advantages with others. Another essential step is to save money for when the time comes. Thanks to the forecasted economic expansion, you and your loved ones can finally kick back and enjoy life to the fullest, including your grandkids. Put money down for your grandkids' college fund, retirement, and other future expenses. If you follow those procedures, you can be sure that the benefits of a financial boost will last far into the future. You're essential to laying the groundwork for the security and prosperity of future generations. It is equally crucial to invest correctly if you need this. Is finding investment possibilities that fit your risk tolerance and financial goals something you're interested in discussing with financial advisors? Investing in a variety of assets may help spread your risk and provide a steady return over time, putting you and your loved ones in a better financial position. The capacity to support charitable organizations, help individuals in need, and contribute to your network will become more realistic with an expanded price range, and giving back is a crucial part of receiving. Sharing what you have with others is a great way to feel good about yourself, but giving back also helps you appreciate what you have and gives your life meaning. The most important thing you can do for your family's financial situation is to educate yourself. Economic development is prudently handled when people are knowledgeable about the principles of budgeting, saving, investing, and donating. The benefits of this week will last into the future since it teaches people how to manage their money wisely. Priority one should be encouraging a mentality of plenty. Maintain an optimistic view of your financial future and have faith in the prospect of a financial boom. Adopting this outlook can help you take charge of your financial situation and welcome the chances that are just around the corner. Appreciate what you have, know where your good fortune comes from, and revel in each day's boom, no matter how little. The promise of a monetary boom is a powerful testimony to the plenty that awaits. It reinforces your faith and encourages you to value what you have more fully. And lastly, it promotes inclusivity. You need to be ready, have a responsible manager, and have a grateful and giving heart. You may fully embrace and magnify the advantages of this promise by being meticulous in your preparation, saving for your future, investing wisely, giving freely, training yourself and your family, cultivating an abundant mentality, and being grateful. The financial boost is more than simply a stopgap measure. It lays the groundwork for a future that is bright, secure, and full of opportunities to make a difference in your community and beyond. 
reading comprehension and expert knowledge will supplant anxiety and perplexity according to God, my precious baby. In the midst of uncertainty, this message offers a glimmer of hope via its kind explanation and soothing words of calm. Assuring a change from confusion to understanding, it addresses the emotions head on. This statement is more than simply something to think about. It's a rallying cry to be ready for the change that's on the horizon. You must first comprehend the character of the stress and bewilderment that permeate your way of life. Fear of the unknown, difficult conditions, or having to make a tough choice are common causes of these emotions. Feelings like these are normal, and it's okay to acknowledge them without passing judgment or offering advice. Gaining this level of popularity is a good starting point for getting beyond them. The next step is to accept the prospect of an alternative, prepare oneself emotionally and psychologically for the change, and embrace the promise of knowledge and readability with an open heart. On this front, religion has the potential to be a powerful motivator, pushing you to seek answers and make positive adjustments to your lives in order to get clarity. Get rid of as many distractions, obligations, and negative influences from your life as you can. With this simplicity, you may zero in on specifics, making it easier to find calm and wisdom in the midst of mayhem. Mindfulness and meditation, which help you relax and tune into your intuition and inner wisdom, may also be helpful in improving your reading comprehension. They might provide a peaceful retreat from the bustle of the arena, allowing you to focus on your next move with assurance. Another important stage is to search for information and expertise. Insufficient data or an incorrect assumption are common causes of misunderstandings. Get to know the issues or choices you'll be facing. Research, inquiries, and advice from reliable sources are sought. Knowledge can clear up uncertainty, shed light on your situation using data, and cultivate a network of friends, family, and mentors who can provide advice and guidance. Sometimes looking at things from the outside might help shed light on things that you can't see while you're inside. As a bonus, these folks may lend you a hand and cheer you on, letting you know that you're not on this journey alone. Knowledge and clarity may take time to develop, but if you stick with them, you'll see through the miscommunication and realize that you are being led and that every experience, good or bad, is helping you become a better person. In today's fast-paced world, it's crucial to make time for a mirror image. While rushing from one objective to another, it's easy to forget to pause and think about how to make your writing more readable. Think about what you've learned, how you feel, and the instructions you found. Insights into your life can be gained from this reflection, and the choices you make can bring healing, direction, and strength to get through tough times. It's a sign that you're not alone and that something greater is guiding you toward clarity and competence, and at the end of the day, you can be grateful. It is often possible to identify advantages even when faced with uncertainty and stress. You may change your perspective by concentrating on those benefits, relieving tension and preparing for the understanding and knowledge that are promised at the end. The road from uncertainty and stress to understanding and knowledge is one that requires trust, action, and perseverance. This requires you to recognize and embrace your modern nation. This isn't always an easy road, but it's full of opportunities for growth and change as you learn to simplify your life, practice mindfulness, seek out information, build an aid community, trust the system, reflect on your stories, make spiritual connections, and practice gratitude. The confusion of today will give way to tomorrow's clarity if you welcome the promise with an excited spirit and an open heart. I will reward you with success, plenty and good health, God promises my little toddler. This motivational message lays the groundwork for a life filled with success, happiness and overcoming obstacles. It's a promise that sheds light on what's to come, offers optimism and inspires faith in one's ability to overcome obstacles. This message invites success, plenty, and the right kind of fitness into our lives. It's more than just a passive assurance. 
It's a name to live by. Success is not a destination, but rather the result of a journey marked by learning, discovery, and perseverance that begins with well-defined aspirations and continues with relentless effort. First things first, everyone has their own idea of what it means to be fulfilled, so it's important to figure out what that is for you. Gaining clarity on your objectives is the first step towards accomplishing them, whether they pertain to personal growth, career advancement, or making a positive impact on your community. Embrace a mindset that is abundant. A significant mindset is one that views the world as full of opportunities and resources. It's about giving more weight to the potential than the limitations. Learn to be content with what you have and have an open mind about what more life has to offer. This kind of thinking not only makes more money come into your life, but it also teaches you to appreciate and benefit from what you already have. A precise state of health is essential to living a full life because it allows us to do the things we want to do and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Adopting healthy habits such as eating properly, exercising regularly, getting enough sleep and managing your stress may have a positive impact on your physical, mental and emotional health. Taking care of your body is really more of a token of appreciation and reverence for the lives you've been granted. Get ready to reap the rewards of your hard work. Achieving plenty and superb fitness is possible through self-education. Knowledge is power and it has the potential to direct your decisions and propel you closer to your goals. Make an investment in your career and personal growth by learning new things and increasing your knowledge base. Achieving one's goals and developing one's resilience and flexibility are both facilitated by ongoing techniques like education and self-development. Being resilient allows you to stay focused on your ambitions even when faced with adversity. Life is full of ups and downs. Think of every change as a learning opportunity and take something away from every experience. You will be more prepared for the success and prosperity that your partner has promised you if you are resilient and flexible. Foster extraordinary connections. Put yourself in the company of positive, uplifting and motivating individuals. Inspiring, motivating and joyful. Great connections improve your lives, add to your happiness and pave the way to success and prosperity. Have your network's lower back supplied. When you share what you have with other people, it improves their lives and makes your own feeling of success and prosperity that much more powerful. It enhances the overall welfare of the community by starting a chain reaction of thankfulness and kindness. Find ways to make a difference, whether that's with your time, money or expertise. It is possible to have a wonderful time and make a difference by giving back. You can't separate your spiritual foundation from the prosperity in your life. A feeling of direction may be found through spirituality and faith. In times of difficulty, root and peace may provide inspiration and guidance for making decisions that are in line with your beliefs and aspirations. Praying, meditating, or engaging in any activity that brings you closer to spiritual practice may help you cultivate your religious experience. Concentration on the here and now, with thankfulness for everything that you have, and appreciation for the gift of life itself. In addition to improving your health, it helps you see the plenty around you and develop an attitude of gratitude, both of which are prerequisites for the promised success and physical perfection. Believe in the benefits of success and agree with the commitment made to you. Your wealth and physical well-being influence your ideas, actions, and expectations. Put your faith in the fact that you are being led and assisted and that these benefits are on their way to you, promising success. Profound plenty and proper fitness provide a picture of a life well lived. Achieving your vision of prosperity and well-being calls for more than just hoping for the best. It calls for taking an active role in your own journey with the help of pure wishes. Embracing an attitude of plenty, making adequate exercise a priority and always learning about and building resilience. 
intentionally cultivating positive relationships, maintaining spiritual connections, cultivating an attitude of gratitude and mindfulness, and having faith in the promise that you will be blessed according to your alignment with the forces of success are all steps in the right direction. Do not skip this film, my darling. Instead, embrace the adventure with a soul that is open and eager to accept the bounty that is waiting for you. Making the seemingly impossible feasible is my forte as the deity of miracles. This stirring proclamation shines a light on the boundless potential of the divine despite the limitations of humankind. It gives us hope that there is a power beyond our obstacles that can transform them into chances for growth and success, no matter how daunting those obstacles may seem. This message invites us to transcend our current circumstances, acknowledge the miraculous power operating in our lives, and comprehend the essence of miracles. Great occurrences that transcend human common reason are known as miracles because they're evidence of divine involvement that controls our lives in unexpected and good ways. Faith, the ability to see the unseen, and confidence in a force beyond ourselves are the prerequisites for becoming an expert performer of miracles. In the face of divine intervention, the boundaries of what we see as possible might be broken, as miracles serve as a reminder. Make religion the cornerstone of your plan. Through the prism of faith, we see the possibility of the seemingly impossible becoming attainable. It's far from the heavenly being who has promised to do miraculous deeds for us. Fostering your spiritual life through prayer, meditation, and studying holy books will help you grow a strong, steadfast faith. A life of faith flourishes when its adherents are patient and persistent, and when they listen to the word of God and act accordingly. Turn over your problems to God. When you give up control to the God of miracles, it's not a sign of failure, but of acceptance. It comprises believing that the divine has a plan that is much bigger than anything we could ever imagine and releasing our urge to control the outcome. By giving up control, you open the door to the miraculous first moments when all you see are the most basic barriers. Miracles often come to us in ways we don't anticipate. Therefore, it's important to have an open mind and heart so that we can welcome them with open arms. Challenge our assumptions and encourage us to see the industry in a fresh light. Keep an open mind and be prepared to seize the miraculous dawn. Trust in me, my precious child, and you will see signs of miraculous occurrences that confirm your existence. As we center our thoughts on the divine, the fabric of our reality might change in ways we can't yet fathom, and this profound remark is a name to help us grow in our faith. It is a call to abandon our concerns and uncertainties, put our trust in a higher power, and welcome the positive changes that religion may bring into our lives. A foundation of trust is the ability to create marvels, perceiving the invisible and having unshakable faith in the benevolence and power of the supernatural are essential components. Faith is having faith in a higher power and the possibility of a greater purpose for our lives, even if that purpose is not immediately apparent. The first step in developing this mindset is to think back on times when you felt directed or protected. Remember the times when things took turns, when help came out of nowhere, or when you found power you didn't know you possessed, times when you couldn't have planned ahead. Such instances demonstrate the handiwork of the divine and serve as reminders that miracles are not only possible, but are now transpiring in your life. Praying may help you accept things as they are. Praying allows us to communicate our worries, hopes, and appreciation to the divine. If we pray about it, we may ask for the strength to believe it with all our heart and for the patience to wait for miracles to happen. Doing so also brings us closer to God and makes us more sensitive to the nuanced ways in which they manifest. An important part of believing in the divine is letting go of the need to control. Because of our limited human viewpoint, we are unable to see the big picture or the complex interconnections between seemingly unrelated things. We allow the divine to work in our lives, often in ways that shock and amaze us. 
when we let go of our need to control every outcome. In order to maintain an attitude of openness rather than fixation on limits, one must be willing to consider the possibility of miracles. Bring a mentality that is open to new possibilities into your home. When we are receptive to change, brave enough to accept risks, and prepared to live out the new opportunities that present themselves, miracles happen. While waiting for miracles, it is necessary to cultivate staying strength. Intercession from on high doesn't always match up with our own schedules. Putting one's faith in the divine plan and having faith that all will be revealed at the perfect moment. Staying power allows us to remain positive and unwavering even when faced with uncertainty or delay, even when that time isn't what we had anticipated. When we are grateful, we are more aware of the miraculous. Being grateful helps us see the good in our lives and appreciate the richness that is already there. It also helps us see the extraordinary in the mundane. When we have an attitude of gratitude, we open the door to more of the good things in life. By maintaining relationships within religious communities, we may increase our belief in what is true and get support, encouragement, and affirmation from those who share our values and beliefs. The existence of these communities serves as a reminder that our search for a more personal relationship with God is a universal one. Doing what we believe to be true in relation to the divine is a powerful demonstration of our faith. We become active participants in the unfolding of miracles when our choices reflect our faith in the power and kindness of the divine. Thinking things out before acting may take us places we never thought possible with results that are far beyond our wildest dreams. Belief in the divine and the subsequent spread of miracles is an invitation to a more profound and meaningful way of life. It is a path toward releasing faith in the unseen and opening ourselves up to the boundless possibilities that religion may provide. This is not a passive agreement. Rather, it is a daily choice to reflect on the power and kindness of the divine, to see the world through the prism of wonder and desire, and to be open to the marvels that are still to come. Put your trust in God and keep an eye out. I am aware that you are now the target of harassment as your lifestyle undergoes remarkable changes, my little baby. This straightforward but profound declaration acknowledges the magnitude of our difficulties and provides a heavenly assurance that we are not alone in our suffering. This serves as a gentle reminder of the all-knowing and all-present God who is concerned about our problems and is willing to lend a hand. Guides us through the shadows of our difficulties with the gentle wisdom and compassion of the divine. Know how important it is to be seen and understood while you're going through a tough period. When the divine takes up your cross, it's a strong reinforcement that your pain is real, your difficulties are recognized, and your emotions are important. Establishing a reputation is an important first step in getting your issue back on track and showing that it isn't constantly ignored. Receive the offer to divide up the work. If you are facing difficulties, your divine vocation is to acknowledge them and then let them go. Sharing the load doesn't mean you have to give up or admit defeat. It just means you may use the power that comes with stronger electricity to power your journey. It's an invitation to let divine love and power shine into the places where fear and sadness have taken root. Give yourself the divine's assurance of help. When problems appear insurmountable and answers are far away, trust may be difficult to muster. Having faith, nevertheless, that there is an energy bigger than your problems that can help you overcome them is the link between your load and the divine promise of relief and assistance. Would you want to find solace through contemplation or prayer? You may connect with the divine in a flash via these activities, and you'll find a peaceful space to express your worries, dreams, and desires. Finding solace in being heard and tranquility in a presence bigger than yourself may be yours via meditation or prayer. When you find a moment of quiet, you may find that your worries fade away, if only for a little while. Sharing your struggles with others who understand how you're feeling can be incredibly empowering, and you can also find solace in the knowledge that you're not alone. 
In concrete ways, your network may represent the divine promise of assistance via shared prayers, encouraging words, or just being there. Keep in mind the power of perspective. The way we see our problems may sometimes make them feel heavier. A name that calls us to see our difficulties through the spiritual lens, not as insurmountable obstacles, but as stepping stones on a path to greater things, is the divine promise of help and presence. A new way of thinking might be the key to overcoming challenges and finding inner peace. Build up your stamina and determination. Getting our problem solved frequently takes more time and effort than we anticipate. Resilience equips us to confront adversity head-on, while staying power allows us to gracefully endure it. Both are gifts that may flourish when we give thanks to God. Strengthening oneself with the assurance that we are not dwelling on anything other than moments of triumph and remembering times when one conquered obstacles may serve as a source of inspiration. These recollections serve as evidence of your resilience and the supernatural intervention that has sustained you. They serve as a constant reminder that you are capable of doing what you set out to achieve since you have already accomplished it. Carry the courses in your load with the divine at your side. The seeds of growth and knowledge are planted in every mission, which is more than simply a pledge of assistance. It is an invitation to seek out the hidden knowledge inside your war. There's a chance you may overcome your challenges by growing spiritually, intellectually, and electrically. Guard your desires. Finally, there is hope in the divine lesson of finding your load. This serves as a gentle reminder that no matter how much you're going through, there's always hope for strength and solace. A desire is a beacon of light that leads you out of the shadows, a rock to steady yourself in a storm, and a guarantee that, with God's help, no challenge is too great. You are invited to contemplate your troubles appropriately and find solace in religious rituals because of the divine guarantee that your burdens are acknowledged. This is a tremendous source of comfort and energy. Take a stand for your neighborhood, develop a broader view, and learn to control your patience and perseverance. Think back on times when you succeeded, find ways to overcome obstacles, and stay true to your heart's goal. On the path from suffering to relief, it's not only about dumping your problems, it's also about strengthening your connection to God and discovering tranquility. In the middle of the storm, remember that you are not alone. In fact, you will emerge stronger having experienced religion and purpose again. God says, My precious child, your family, your health, the health of a loved one, your finances, your career. This deep message touches on the fundamental elements that sustain us. It's a gentle reminder that God is watching over those places, caring for them and nurturing them with a power that surpasses any task or difficulty we may encounter. This statement gives us comfort knowing that our struggles and achievements are shared by others. Help and guidance from above is always available, leading us to happiness, success and serenity. Get a handle on how important your own family is. Our immediate family serves as our rock, our first support system and our unwavering resource for wisdom and encouragement. We are reminded to treasure these connections and cultivate them with compassion, wisdom and perseverance through the divine focus on our own family. It's a name to cherish the ties that bind us, to overlook the flaws and to enjoy life's little pleasures with the people closest to you. It is right and proper to cherish and safeguard the sacred mission of camaraderie and boom. A healthy body is priceless because it holds you in this world and gives you the strength to follow your heart and do what you were meant to do. A heavenly awareness of your health serves as a gentle reminder to tend to your physical, mental and spiritual well-being. This means giving in to your body's signals, finding balance and making choices that promote health. A sort of appreciation for the life you've been given is maintaining your health, so it's a good reminder to put self-care first. Just as valuable is the health of a loved one. Our interdependence and the immense impact we've had on each and every one of our lives are brought to light by this. In health, we learn empathy, compassion, and the value of helping others. This is a moniker for those who are willing to be there for others 
when they are down, to lend them strength when they are weak, and to ask God to bless them. We feel the love of God more strongly when we help other people. Also included are all of your pricing points. The importance of being a good steward in managing the resources that have been given to you is highlighted by this. It's a call to trust in God's provision while also making wise decisions to ease your financial fate. Stability, enjoying the results of your labor, saving for the future, and giving generously are all significant factors in your financial well-being. The significance of your profession is acknowledged, emphasizing its transformation from a mere source of income to a vehicle for fulfilling your life's mission. This is a field where you can put your interests and skills to good use, where you can have a positive impact on a global scale. Divine intervention in your job serves as a gentle reminder to seek out work that is congruent with your beliefs, to strive for success and greatness in everything that you do, and to see your employment as a means of answering your divine calling as you traverse various aspects of your life. In times of purpose or uncertainty, start by cultivating a profound sense of accepting as truth that you are directed, covered, and loved. In the midst of life's storms, this acceptance of truth may serve as an anchor, keeping you steady. Make an effort to be thankful for all of those benefits. Expressing gratitude allows you to fully appreciate and acknowledge the richness around you, elevating what you already have to an abundance that is beyond your expectations. As a result, it enhances happiness and satisfaction for individuals who are looking for harmony and stability in those areas by shifting their focus from what's missing to the abundance of advantages all around them. While it's easy to let yourself get consumed by a single aspect of your life, true happiness comes from tending to all of it. Giving each spot the attention it deserves is in keeping with its modern demand for activity, which is not the same as splitting time identically. Being fully present with your family is an act of mindfulness. Pay close attention to your health, watch your spending, work hard at your job, and be kind to your loved ones. Being more present in your reviews and relationships is one way that mindfulness may improve the quality of your life. Finally, think about or pray about these things. Connecting with the divine via spiritual activities brings guidance, strength, and tranquility. They help you make wise choices find comfort in times of trouble, and be grateful no matter what. As a conclusion, the divine message regarding your family's health, a loved one's health, money, and career serves as a reminder of how all these parts of life are interdependent. It promotes a balanced way of living where each part is taken care of and nurtured under the guidance of the divine, gratitude, and balance. To gracefully and intelligently traverse those locations, mindfulness and non-secular connection are crucial. Keep each of these components in mind. Surrounded by my own spiritual guidance, you will find meaning, reason, and tranquility in your lifestyle. You are not alone. The weight of our responsibilities may be debilitating at times. Additionally, we may get the overwhelming sensation that the whole world is pressing down on us it would be easy to give in to despair and lose sight of our goals when we're facing so many challenges. Yet even at those lowest points, there may be a reassuring voice that tells us we're not alone. It may be difficult to look forward when we are burdened by our obligations. In the midst of difficult times, when we question our abilities and feel like we can't make it through, it's important to recall God's words, which tell us that we're stronger than we think. According to God, my precious child, I am aware of the difficulties you cause and am willing to assist you in overcoming them. I am always here for you, so you don't have to face these challenges alone. These words provide comfort and encouragement, showing us that we are not alone in our struggles. It doesn't matter how heavy the weight seems, God is with us to help us carry it and see us through the dark times. We just want to put our trust in Him and know that He will strengthen us by strengthening His hand. The demands of our modern lives may make us feel helpless, and the temptation to attempt to handle everything by ourselves is strong. 
God has other plans for us, and one of them is not to act weakly when we need help or think we should be able to handle everything on our own. He wants my pricey child and me to rely on him as a rock, a foundation around which to build our worries. Do not be timid when you need assistance. God will provide. In the event that you ever need power or luxury, I'm always prepared to be there for you. These lines serve as a reminder that it's best to reach out for support from others when we're hurting, whether it's friends, family, or professionals. Cry out for assistance. It's a sign of strength, not a weakness anymore. God has sent people into our lives to help us carry our loads. We should now not be ashamed to ask for aid when we need it. Sometimes, the broader view is lost. God commands us to love one another and bear each other's sorrows. Yet it's easy to get so consumed by our own problems that we neglect the needs of others. Remember that you are connected to a bigger network and that there are other people going through the same things you are, as God says to my little baby. Find the strength to persevere by reaching out to them with love and wisdom. These lines serve as a constant reminder that we are not alone in our trials. Rather, we are part of a community of people who are enduring the same difficult circumstances. Through unity and kindness, we may alleviate one another's suffering and find strength in our common humanity. Those who allow their worldly concerns to consume them frequently exhibit weakness in their spiritual walk. Nothing could be farther from the truth if we too feel forgotten or abandoned, leading us to believe that God has abandoned us. God promises that I will never abandon you or abandon you in any form, my darling. My love is always there to guide you and comfort you, even when you're going through the worst of times. This passage gives us hope and assurance by reassuring us that God is there with us at all times, whether we can see Him or not. Within the shadows, He shines like a beacon of hope. This typhoon-born desire beacon, all we want to do is let Him into our hearts, and He will enliven us both with his tranquility and vitality. Finally, when the weight of the arena seems too much to bear, we may find solace in God's words, which tell us that we are not alone in our trials. He is always at our side, prepared to lift our loads and find strength where we are weak. He would sustain us with his love and style if we only turn to him in faith. When I'm feeling lonely, it's hard to get out of bed in the morning because I make everything seem like a monumental task. Even though it may be hard to see a way forward when you're in the depths of despair, there is a voice that tries to comfort you, encourages you, and reminds you that you are not alone in your struggles and that I am here with you right now. You are never really alone since I am by your side at all times. In the darkest hours of despair, these words provide a spark of hope by assuring us that God is with us every step of the way, providing the love and direction we need. In our hour of need, he wants to console us because he understands the extent of our grief and the weight of our troubles. Finding the strength to face another day may be challenging when we are engulfed in the gloom of despair. God encourages us to hang on to desire even when we feel like giving up, even when the world around us seems dark and gloomy and there seems to be no way out. Do not lose heart. I am the light that shines in the darkness, God declares. Have faith in me, and I will lead you safely through this storm. These lines serve as a gentle reminder that being found is a constant pursuit, no matter how low we may feel. As we sink into the depths of despair, God's love shines like a lighthouse, rescuing us from the shadows. Our only hope is to put our trust in Him and let Him lead us through this difficult time. Isolation and a lack of interest in the things around us are symptoms of the crushing experience of loneliness. Additionally, we may feel alone in our suffering and that no one understands. But God assures us that He is not leaving us and has placed people in our lives to assist us when we are down. Do not be shy about asking for help or finding a friend, my darling. That is what God advises. I have provided you with friends and family that care about you support you, and are willing to lend you a hand when you're down. These lines remind us that we are not alone in our challenges, 
and encourage us to let ourselves be loved and guided by people around us. In the midst of our darkest hours, there are those who care about us enough to stick by our side. We just want to let them in so they can assist us in bearing our heavy loads. Even the most effective tasks can become overwhelming when we're depressed. For some, just getting out of bed in the morning can seem like an insurmountable obstacle. We can also find ourselves mired in feelings of lethargy and indifference. But God assures us that we have the strength to conquer all obstacles. According to God, He has bestowed upon you a spirit of zeal, love and self-control rather than fear and trepidation. If you put your trust in me, I will provide the fortitude you need to face each day with courage and determination. Despite all we're going through, we are not helpless, as these sayings serve to remind us. God has given us the fortitude to persevere through every trial, no matter how bad it becomes. To get through this, we must have faith in Him and rely on His strength. Finally, even if we feel alone and crushed under the weight of sadness, we may find solace in God's words, which tell us that we are not really alone. No matter what, we can always count on His unending love and wisdom to help us through. He can show us the way to the power that will allow us to overcome our obstacles and confront each day with courage and determination. When we are down and out and overwhelmed by worry, God's compassionate invitation to lay your burdens at His feet is a reassuring reminder that we are not alone in our troubles. God invites us to come to Him, pushing us to let go of our worries and find comfort in His presence. God assures us that we are not to bear these trials alone. Just give me the items and I'll get them for you. These expressions give us hope when we feel hopeless and serve as a reminder that we are not alone in the difficult times we are going through. As we face the challenges of daily life, God is prepared to take our weight, providing us with His strength and encouragement. When we're stressed out from worrying about everything, it's easy to want to take care of everything by ourselves. Furthermore, we could think that we should be strong and independent and that asking for help is a sign of weakness. Nevertheless, God reminds us that this isn't always the case. A divine assurance that I am here is that I am here to assist you according to God's word. You are not alone. If you would just join me in this, I will lift your burdens and give you the desire to keep going. Those words serve as a reminder that we can always rely on God for strength and that He will never let us fall. When we give Him control of our worries in the face of insurmountable obstacles, He will gladly alleviate our suffering and provide us solace. Giving up control and putting our faith in God's plan for our lives could be challenging. Even if we are frightened to let go and do what God wants, God still wants us to release our hold on our worries and anxieties and put them in His hands. Please, God. My darling little one, if you are in agreement with the strong Jesus, God says, let go of your worries and concerns. Have faith in me, and I will lead you safely through this storm. Even in the midst of life's seeming chaos and uncertainty, such lines reassure us that God is in control. In spite of our difficulties, He assures us that He will lead us in the right direction, since He can see the forest for the trees and understands what's best for us. All we want to do is lean on His unfailing love of religion and let Him take care of our problems. When we give up trying to control ourselves and instead place our trust in His divine knowledge, we knowingly put our worries and fears in His capable hands, knowing that He is always working for our good. God says, Load your burdens at my feet and agree with them in me. I will convey them for you and collectively, we will walk through lifestyles demanding situations hand in hand. These words remind us that we do not have to face our struggles on our own. God is continually there beside us, ready to provide His love and support as we journey through life. What we must do is give Him our burdens and let Him paint our lives. In the end, God's invitation to lay our burdens at His feet is a comforting reminder of His love and willingness to take care of us. He stands prepared to shoulder our struggles and guide us through our lifestyles demanding situations. If we would best give Him our cares, together with His assistance, 
We should find peace and energy in, in the midst of life's difficulties, whether from addiction, illness, loneliness, or problems within our families, God's loving message offers hope and reassurance. God assures us that these struggles do not define our future, but rather, He promises a better future filled with restoration, desire, and recuperation. God says, the struggles you face are not your destiny. I have plans to prosper you and not damage you. I have plans to provide you with a wish and a destiny. These words shine a light in the dark, reminding us that God has a purpose and a plan for each of us and that He is working all things together for our good. No matter how dire our circumstances may appear, God's love and restoration will always be there. It may seem like we're stuck in a never-ending cycle of depression, unable to escape its grip, but God assures us that He is stronger than our addictions and gives us the power to overcome them. My beloved child, I have come to free you from the bonds of addiction. If you trust in me, I will give you the strength to break free and live a victorious life. These verses offer hope and encouragement, reassuring us that we don't have to face our struggles with addiction alone. God is prepared to help us overcome our dependencies and find healing in His love. All we have to do is surrender our addictions to Him and trust in His ability to sustain us. Sickness can be a terrible source of suffering, causing us to believe that I am able to bring healing and wholeness to your body and soul. These words serve as a reminder that God is the ultimate healer, able to restore health to every part of our lives. All we have to do is put our trust in Him and let Him paint our lives. When we're lonely, it can make us feel isolated and unwelcome in our surroundings. It's easy to feel invisible and unsupported by those around us, but God assures us that we're never truly alone because He's always by our side. My precious child, God says I will never leave you or abandon you. I'm with you always, even in the worst times of despair and loneliness. These verses give us comfort and reassurance, reminding us that God's love is unchanging and constant, even when we feel abandoned by those around us. He's our constant companion, guiding us through the darkest times and providing us with His peace and His presence. Even though it may be difficult to see the future and question whether restoration and healing are even possible, God assures us that He is the God of recovery and can bring restoration and healing to even the most broken families. God says, I am the one who brings families together. Consider me, and I will work on all things collectively for your benefit. These words give us hope and encouragement, reminding us that God can mend even the most broken relationships and bring reconciliation where there may be division. All we need to do is surrender our family problems to Him and believe in His ability to bring healing and restoration. God's message to His kids gives hope and reassurance in the midst of lifestyles, struggles, and demanding situations, irrespective of what we may additionally face, whether it's dependency or sickness, loneliness, or our own family troubles. God assures us that those problems are not our future. As a substitute, He gives us the promise of a brighter future filled with desire, healing, and restoration. All we want to do is place our faith in Him and permit Him to paint in our lives, knowing that He is trustworthy to meet His guarantees. Enroll in our channel for daily God blessings in moments of uncertainty and doubt. God's loving words offer us wishes and encouragement reminding us that brighter days are ahead, whether or not we are getting ready to land a brand new task, gaining admission to a favored faculty, or earning a merchandising, seizing a possibility, breaking unfastened from debt, or escaping a poisonous situation. God assures us that He is with us each step of the way, guiding us towards achievement and success. God says, I see the dreams of your coronary heart, and I am working all things together on your desirable acceptance as true with me, and I will lead you to victory. Those words are a source of energy and reassurance, reminding us that God is intimately acquainted with our hopes and dreams, and that He's actively operating to bring them to fruition. Irrespective of how daunting the demanding situations might also seem, God's promise of fulfillment remains steadfast and true. Touchdowns for a brand new activity 
may be a frightening prospect, full of uncertainty and anxiety. We might also wonder if we've got what it takes to succeed, or if we are able to ever locate the right possibility. But God assures us that He has a plan for our careers, and that He'll guide us to the task that is great for my expensive infant. God says I have plans to prosper you, and now not to harm you. I have plans to present you with hope and a future trust in me, and I can open doors of possibility for you. Those phrases provide us with wishes and encouragement, reminding us that God is the closing issuer, able to open doors that no person can shut. All we want to do is believe in Him and allow Him to lead us to the activity that He has prepared for us. Gaining admission to a desired college can feel like an uphill struggle, particularly when confronted with stiff competition and rigorous admission necessities. We might also worry that our qualifications are not enough or that we will be left out in favor of other applicants. Yet God assures us that He has a plan for our schooling and that He's going to open the doors that want to be opened, my expensive toddler. God says, do no longer be afraid, for I am with you. Trust in me, and I'm able to make a manna for you where there appears to be no manna. These phrases of wish and reassurance remind us that God is able to make the impossible feasible. All we need to do is place our trust in Him and permit Him to guide us in the direction of achievement. Income promotion may be an extended and hard-earned adventure requiring hard work, dedication, and perseverance. We might also be surprised if our efforts will ever be diagnosed or if we will be stuck in the same function for all time. Yet God assures us that He sees our diligence and our faithfulness and that He will praise us in due time. My pricey infant, God says, do not become weary of doing things properly, for in due time you will gain a harvest. If you do not give up, believe in me, and I'll be able to exalt you in due time. Those phrases offer us wishes and encouragement, reminding us that God is a loyal rewarder for those who diligently try to find Him. All we need to do is continue to work hard and stay steadfast in our faith, understanding that God will honor our efforts and bless us with achievement. Seizing a possibility can require courage and boldness. As we step out of our comfort zones and into the unknown, we may additionally hesitate, fearing failure or rejection. However, God assures us that He has equipped us with everything we want to prevail. My beloved child, I pray that you will find strength and courage in these words. I have not given you a spirit of worry, but of electricity, love, and self-control. Consider me, and I will give you the courage to seize the opportunities that come your way. These words serve as a reminder that God is our source of strength and confidence, and all we want to do is put our trust in Him and leave religion behind, knowing that He will lead us to success. When we are overwhelmed by mounting bills and financial responsibilities, it can feel like an impossible task. We may feel trapped and beaten, wondering how to break free from the cycle of debt. But God promises that He can provide for our desires and that He will assist us in finding a way out. In this miraculous season, you are essentially opening your coronary heart to the boundless possibilities that await by shedding light on our journey with increased clarity and logic. It's beyond time to let go of uncertainties and embrace the limitless love that is all around you. Think about it, little tot that miracles aren't for the chosen few. They're gifts offered to anybody brave enough to believe in them. As you begin your religious journey, may thankfulness illuminate your path. It is the key that opens the door to plenty, enabling you to get the benefits that are already within your grasp. Every day, no matter how little, take a moment to be grateful for what you have. By doing so, you pave the way for even larger gifts down the road. In addition, know that miracles are frequently obstacles in disguise. They are the religious checks that strengthen and encourage your soul. When you face hardship, instead of giving up, look at it as a chance to grow and change. The stars shine brightest during this miraculous season, so don't let yourself be discouraged. If you look at the universe's timing, you'll see that everything happens according to a divine design. If you accept this, 
then you may expect a miracle to happen at any moment. Keep in mind the wonders that happen all the time. They are the unexpected moments of beauty and amazement that make your heart sing with happiness and appreciation. If you are seeking a path to inner peace and enlightenment and would like to join our holy family, click the join button and join our transformation. The sound of a baby's laughter, the comforting embrace, and the generosity of a complete stranger are all parts of a journey. In the midst of this miraculous and beneficial season, make sure you savor those precious moments. They are the real miracles. Keep in mind that I am in no way alone. You may count on God's unending love, guidance and protection at all times. In the same vein as this video, if you love God, then go out, my darling, with trust in your heart and thankfulness in your spirit, for the time of miracles has come, and it is yours to claim as you enter a new phase of your journey. Abounding benefits await you in many areas of your life, and I want to tell you about them. Prepare yourself to be a symbol of boundless love and riches. Join me as we delve into the world of abundant money, where fitness and home bliss are at your fingertips. The quality of your experiences, not your bank account or your possessions, is the true measure of your riches, the richness of your connections, and the happiness you get from following your heart. Let your heart and mind be open to the boundless opportunities that lie ahead and believe that all you need to succeed will be provided to you by the universe. Love is the glue that holds us together and the rock upon which our lives rest. Embrace the many types of love this season has to offer. The love of a close group of friends and family, the love of a romantic partner, and the love of mankind at large. Always remember that you are deserving of love and care. Let the light of love lead the way, shining its warmth, compassion, and wisdom onto you. Having good health is obviously the most valuable asset, since all other benefits are meaningless without it. Take care of yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally, since they are the building blocks of your existence. Eat well, exercise regularly, and cultivate habits that promote calm and contentment inside. Keep in mind that being healthy is about more than just avoiding being sick. It's about being a nation full of vibrant power and strength that allows you to fully engage with life's rewards. The house is more than a mere location to lay your head down. It is a shelter for your spirit, a refuge from the turmoil outside. No matter the size of your home, a little cottage or a sprawling mansion, it is important to have reverence for it because it is a holy place filled with memories, love and warmth that provides a refuge from the outside world. If you want to attract even more gifts into your life as soon as you are ready to receive them, fill your house with laughter, pleasure and thankfulness. Then you can watch as it becomes a magnet. Maintaining an attitude of thankfulness is vital. You may magnify the benefits of your life and attract even more wealth into your world by cultivating an attitude of gratitude. Every day, whether via prayer, meditation, or just taking in the splendor of your surroundings, set aside some time to be thankful for the blessings you have and will receive. On this path to plenty, let thankfulness be your constant companion. Additionally, remember that you have the power to influence your destiny through your thoughts, words, and deeds, and that you are a co-creator of your reality. Embrace the power of your own free will and let go of limiting beliefs and destructive habits that are holding you back. Have faith in the universe's perfect timing and trust that everything is happening just as it should. The cosmos may be working against your objectives while simultaneously bestowing upon you an abundance of rewards. This is something you may come to realize. You are worthy of all the good things that life has to offer, including financial success, romantic fulfillment, physical health, and a comfortable house. So open your heart and mind to receive these blessings with thankfulness and joy. Embrace the season of blessings that is now here, and you will see miracles crop up in all parts of your life. In Divine Windfall, I encourage you to fully embrace the deep truth contained in those simple lines while you embrace abundant blessings right now. Take my word for it, and you'll see good fortune pour into your life. Amazing things come to fruition 
in the most unexpected ways because of the inspiration that comes from contemplation. Explore the core of your agreement with me. I share the unshakable belief that a higher power, far away from us, is directing everything just as it should. Embracing higher knowledge that knows what's good for us means letting go of our anxieties and concerns. Contrast this with the gentle murmur that reminds us we're never really alone. Accepting anything as truth is more like being grabbed by the hand as we fall. As you set out on this journey, keep in mind that you aren't giving up control, but rather, you're giving up an additional power that is always working for your benefit. The readiness to let go of the urge to know everything and to submit to life's flow with an open heart and mind is what it means to contemplate, not passively resign, but actively participate in the co-introduction of your reality. You may access the benefits that are already on their way to you if you trust yourself. Numerous benefits, both big and small, are at our fingertips and they often show up when we least expect them. These are the chances that come our way at the perfect time, the coincidences that show us how everything is interrelated and the moments of grace that make us feel humbled and amazed. Moreover, when you believe in the universe's beneficence, you can overcome your fears. Instead of trying to control every outcome, you should let go and revel in the beauty of uncertainty. You see challenging circumstances not as roadblocks, but as chances for personal development. To you, failure is only a stepping stone on the road to achieving your full potential, and you know this. You become a magnet for even more blessings to pour into your experience as you create agreement in your life. The gates of plenty open when trust is established. Faith starts with a single act and spreads outward, influencing the lives of everyone around you. Believing is an activity that demands tenacity, religion, and persistence, and letting benefits overflow into every part of your life is like a ripple effect. Accepting something as real is the most potent medicine for the soul. Yet trusting isn't always easy, especially in times of uncertainty or hardship. Those are the times when you feel the need to surrender even more completely, since you know that the darkest nights ultimately bring the brightest stars. Costello, I implore you to believe that this is all part of a greater purpose, to have faith in the goodness of people and things, and to know that you are always being led, supported and loved more than you can imagine. Believe in me, for I am always by your side, whispering words of love and encouragement into your heart. Take stock of yourself, because you are a strong co-creator of your reality and can bring about miracles beyond your wildest dreams. Believe me, little baby, and you will see rewards pouring into your life in ways you cannot fathom. Join me in a moment of communal prayer, when we may let our spirits connect with the divine presence around us and our hearts open. Prayer is a potent tool, a conduit that connects the spiritual plane with the material one. We are being led to the source of all Advent via a divine discourse, a spiritual contact. Permit us to imitate the spirit of prayer. In prayer, we convey our deepest longings, anxieties, fears, hopes and thanks, rather than just repeating a series of words or performing a series of rituals. Realizing our interdependence with every living thing and letting go of our egocentric selves are essential components. We draw strength for the journey through life from the boundless supply of divine grace that is both inside and all around us when we pray. As we join in prayer, let us not lose sight of the strength that comes from working together. Our individual prayers have a multiplicative effect when we pray as a community, causing a wave of healing and change that echoes throughout the cosmos. We become conduits of divine love and gentle, radiating blessings to all sentient creatures when we join our voices in prayer. Furthermore, even when we are unclear or faced with hardship, may we pray with confidence in the kindness that exists in the cosmos. Permit us to remain steadfast in our belief that prayer has the power to accomplish anything. Have faith in the universe's heavenly timing. We may pray for the sectors and ourselves as recovery, because we know that our prayers are always heard and answered 
in ways that are for our greatest benefit. Let us ask God to provide peace so that it may dwell in every human heart and corner of the world. In order to face the difficulties of our way of life with dignity and strength, let us pray for wisdom. Love, may it flow freely from us like a river, enriching and elevating everyone we meet. Let us pray for this. While we join in prayer, let us not forget to be grateful for the blessings that have been given to us. Our prayers take root and grow in the rich soil of thankfulness, and they increase abundantly. Pause for a moment of gratitude for all that we have. The gift of life itself, the wonders of the natural world, the love of our loved ones, and the boundless marvels that occur all around us every day. And while we're doing it, let us ask for forgiveness for ourselves and for others. Let go of any bitterness or anger that has been building up within you and give it to the divine for forgiveness and change. You are always deserving of love and redemption, so forgive yourself for your inadequacies and errors. Forgive others for whatever harm they may have done. Praying with love and humility, we know that forgiveness is the last step toward emancipation and healing, and we trust that the divine will open their fingers to receive our petitions. Together, in love and faith, may we continue to hope for miracles beyond our wildest dreams, and may we have confidence that prayer may do all things. Let us pray together, my children, with thankful and desire-filled hearts, knowing that our prayers can change the world. As I take stock of all that you do for me and the fact that you keep a close check on me at all times, I want you to know how much I appreciate it. I find solace and strength in your constant presence and affection, which help me navigate life's challenges with poise and determination. Please allow us to recognize the depth of your commitment and enthusiasm. The intensity of your love and commitment to our courtship is shown via your movements, which convey a great deal. Everything you do, from the little acts of kindness you perform every day to the huge sacrifices you make for me, is much appreciated. From your professional advice and attentive listening to your extravagant displays of love and creative generosity, I am eternally grateful for all the ways you show your support and affection. Your love radiates like a beacon, providing light and comfort along my path. Write 1717. If you believe in the miraculous Jesus, your presence in my life is a priceless gift that I treasure with all my heart. On top of that, I appreciate your ever-vigilant gaze. Like a protective barrier, your watchful attention and concerns keep harm at bay and danger at arm's length. Your compassionate and loving eyes always remind me that I'm never really alone since you are right here with me every step of the way. In the midst of the best and worst birthday celebration moments, you were there for me, and for that, I am eternally thankful. When I am with you, Life is lovely and full of thankfulness and joy. When I am sad and lonely, your embrace gives me strength and comfort, and I know that I am never alone in my challenges. I am grateful that you have faith in me. You have trust in my abilities and potential, and it is a light that guides me forward even when I don't believe in myself. I am inspired to chase my ambitions and overcome any obstacles that come my way because of your positive feedback and the way you see me. I have infinite gratitude for the love you've shown me. Your love has no limits. It envelops me in its gentle embrace, regardless of the passage of time or distance. It's a love that recognizes the beauty and goodness in me and loves me anyhow, imperfections and all. Infusing my life with happiness, contentment and plenty, your love is a wellspring of renewal and change. I just wanted to take a moment to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you do for me, and for being there for me no matter what. There are no words to express how grateful I am to have you as a friend right now. Your love and presence are an immeasurable treasure. May our connection deepen with the passage of time, and may we walk hand in hand forever, bound by love and commitment. With all my love and appreciation, I want to thank you, my pricey kid, for all that you do for me. At this sacred time, I feel compelled to share with you the good news of impending great blessings from God. Everything you've invested will grow tenfold, 
and your finances, relationships, and spiritual life are all on the verge of blossoming. With thankfulness and delight, open your heart to receive those benefits. They are yours to keep. The first step is to identify the pricing range. When we let go of any scarcity mentality and adopt abundant thinking, we link ourselves with the universe's wealth and money flows freely as a form of alternative. When you put your faith in the boundless riches of the cosmos and accept that there is plenty for everyone, you pave the way for yourself to receive the riches and prosperity that are your sacred rights. Your pricing range may grow beyond your wildest expectations as you develop a healthy relationship with money. Your material wealth will increase twofold and chances for growth and expansion will present themselves attractively and without difficulty. Everything you need to succeed is on its way to you. All you have to do is trust in the universe's perfect timing. Moving on, let's talk about relationships. The foundation of our lives and the threads that bind them together are our relationships. By approaching our interactions with warmth, generosity, and empathy, we pave the way for mutual development and the strengthening of bonds. Carefully tending to our relationships allows love and harmony to thrive. Your connections will become 10 times more extraordinary and intense with each encounter as you open your coronary heart to freely offer and receive love. Your life will be enriched and approached in an unfathomably fresh manner as old wounds heal and new friendships blossom. I agree that love can heal even the most broken relationships. Join me as I explore the spiritual realm, fully aware that every contact holds the key to personal development and healing. Discovering that we are spiritual beings and coming to terms with our actual nature is the path to spirituality. Through the cultivation of our religious life, through activities like prayer, meditation and mindfulness, we strengthen our bond with the divine and harmonize with the flow of ancient energy as we cultivate a more profound connection to our spiritual nature. You will experience a tenfold increase in contentment, happiness and success. By embracing a spiritual lifestyle, you tap into a wellspring of energy and direction that helps you gracefully and resiliently navigate life's challenging circumstances. Have faith in the wisdom of your intuition. Recognize that the universe is working in your favor and giving you many advantages in every part of your life, darling child. And know that the loving presence of the divine is always there to support and guide you. You may expect a tenfold increase in the total amount you've invested as well as phenomenal growth in your finances, relationships, spirituality, and non-secular lifestyle. Let your heart open to receive those blessings with joy and appreciation, knowing that you are deserving of all the good things life has to offer. My precious little one, you are about to go on a journey that will lead you to the places you've always imagined according to God. That task is almost over with you. There is one position out there that is a great fit for your interests, skills, and experience, and you have been applying for it non-stop. You may now look forward to a steady paycheck, along with daily achievement and fulfillment, thanks to this assignment. Imagine starting each day with the conviction that you are part of a greater whole, and that this knowledge is enough to fill you with enthusiasm for taking on the challenges that lay ahead. Also, you're going to have the chance to attend the school that has always meant the most to you, the one that seemed out of reach at first, but which you always felt was really yours. Your efforts, which have been consistent and unwavering, are finally going to bear fruit. You have shown your talents in this commercial, fulfillment of your professional goals and acknowledgement of your efforts. It's a chance to grow professionally, take on more responsibilities, and make a bigger impact at work. Additionally, you are on the verge of seizing that opportunity that has really escaped you. Possibilities may manifest in several ways. If you're looking to go on an adventure and immerse yourself in other cultures, or take on a project that really excites you, this opportunity may be a game changer. For a moment, consider jumping ship religiously and doing something completely new. This is a gateway to exciting new adventures. The weight of your debt is going to be lifted from your shoulders 
as you reach the pinnacle of your goals. When you achieve financial independence on the inside, you'll finally be able to relax and focus on what matters most. Imagine a world where you can pay your bills on time, put money aside for the future, support your loved ones, and pay them forward on your network. Claim it with the 1818 kind. Finally, however, you are ready to break free from that poisonous situation it has been shielding you from, whether it is a harmful date, a toxic workplace, or anything else dreadful. You are becoming more capable of distancing yourself. Choosing to put your own health and happiness first via this vacation is an incredible gesture of self-love and self-awareness. It's the beginning of a fresh chapter in your life, one in which you're free to be yourself and seek out happiness, contentment, and success. These modifications, my dear, will not happen suddenly, and they may not even be possible. Rest assured, I will be by your side every step of the way. My timing is correct, I think. Trust in your gut and keep in mind that you can overcome any obstacle and realize your own ambitions if you stick with them, remain positive and never give up. Stand firm in your optimism as you prepare for the amazing new beginnings that lie ahead. Always act in accordance with your principles and never give up on your aspirations. Even though there will be obstacles, there is a lot of potential and promise on the path ahead. Think about yourself, because I think about you, and know that the best is yet to come. So while you work to gain that promotion, get into that college, and land that process, my darling child. Seize that chance. Spend your way out of that debt and out of that toxic environment. In spite of everything, keep in mind that you have support. Whether you need advice, support, or encouragement, I'm here for you every step of the way. You have a wonderful destiny, and the time to polish it is now. Carry yourself with an open heart and mind as you face the path ahead, knowing that every step brings you closer to your destiny. It will be worth it, even if the path isn't always clean. You're going to go on a fantastic boom adventure. My strategy for you is one of discovery and success. As your life's puzzle pieces gradually fit together, keep moving forward and observing. Never forget that you are precious, worthy and competent, my dear. Now take advantage of the opportunities the industry has to offer. The world is at your fingertips, and I will be by your side every step of the way. As we face the chances and trials of life, this communication from God serves as a reminder of the goal and religion we need to hold firmly to. It is a plea to have faith in the higher power's intention for us to persevere through difficult times and to have faith in the potential of a better, more fulfilled future at this holy time. The possibility of new developments is something I'd like to share with you. Your lives are going to be flooded with pleasure, riches, and freedom. Prepare yourself to embrace those benefits with an attitude of appreciation and an open hand. They are yours to claim. Permit us to uncover the concept of innovation. We go ahead on our path of growth and development when we have breakthroughs, which are times of tremendous insight and understanding. These possibilities present themselves when we least expect them, allowing us to see things that were previously out of reach. Know that such breakthroughs are the keys to unlocking your entire potential, so embrace them with courage and enthusiasm. When you open yourself up to new possibilities, you can sense a surge of energy and enthusiasm that propels you forward. The freedom to live according to one's own terms and to express oneself truthfully in the world is an innate capability that every soul has. Break free from the chains of insecurity and failure and fearlessly enter the boundless field of possibilities that lies ahead. In addition, plenty is your inherent country, mirroring the infinite variety of the cosmos. Rich experiences rather than material money or goods are the true measure of plenty. Because of the richness of your connections and the happiness in your heart, be receptive to the plenty that is already coming your way and you will see it multiply in ways you could never have imagined. You will feel pleasure and success in every part of your being as you bathe in the light of prosperity. When you're in sync with your life's genuine calling, 
You're singing a tune that fills your spirit with joy. When you're laughing from the depths of your being, smiling broadly and feeling satisfied in your core, you're experiencing pleasure. May it be so. If you believe in God and in Jesus, then we can go toward freedom as a group. The foundation of a meaningful, purposeful and fulfilled existence is a foundation of plenty and joy, which in turn serve as inspiration for the lives of your desires. Pay close attention as they alter your lives in ways you never imagined possible and include them entirely, dear child. Preparation for breakthroughs begins now. I wish you a life filled with boundless joy, prosperity and freedom. Embrace the opportunity to receive these blessings with thankfulness and anticipation, knowing that you deserve all the good things life has to offer. Embrace the journey with bravery and enthusiasm and have faith that the universe is working to grant your wish, guiding you at every turn in this sacred connection. Even though you're facing difficulties and unknowns, I pray that you remain steadfast in your faith to the end. Your life is about to undergo a dramatic change. Quick to the unshakable belief that your life is a series of miracles leading you to a future brimming with desire, joy and plenty. Let us reflect on the power of belief. In the depths of despair, faith is the light that keeps us going, leading us to tomorrow when things will be better. It's the faith that refuses to waver, knowing that even when we can't see the forest for the trees, everything is falling into place as it should. When times get tough, our faith keeps us rooted and reminds us that we are never alone. When you hold firm to your religion, you'll discover a strength and resilience inside yourself that you didn't know you had. Regardless of the ups and downs that life throws at you, your faith will always be there to provide comfort and guidance. Having confidence in the power of an unchanging, loving presence to sustain and protect you through any difficult times is a wise decision. In addition, a wonderful and blessed turn is about to occur in your life. It may be more difficult than ever to see the positive side of things, but remember that every obstacle serves as a stepping stone to success. Recognize that everything is happening at the perfect time and have faith in the universe's divine timing. Be receptive to the opportunities that await you as you make your way through this breathtaking lifestyle flip. Take full advantage of any opportunity that comes your way because you know that every step you take is a step on the correct path. For the sake of your best future, let go of any clinging to the past and immerse yourself entirely in the present moment. Additionally, as you embark on this beautiful chapter of your lives, remember to cultivate appreciation for the gifts that have already come your way. Gratitude is the key to abundance, drawing in more advantages to share your delight. No matter how little they may seem, it's important to take time each day to reflect on the good things in your life. This will put you in a position to get even more benefits from a costly retrograde baby. Hold on to your faith to the end. A beautiful turn is about to occur in your life. Your faith may get you through the worst of situations when you know that an ever-present loving presence is there to help and guide you. Miracles will happen in every part of your life if you embrace the experience with an open hand and an attitude of gratitude. In this precious moment, my darling, I beseech you to gather your belongings and embrace the benefits with open arms. As long as you are willing to let your heart and mind be open to receiving the many blessings that life has to offer, gratitude, pleasure, and the knowledge that you are worthy of all the goodness in the world, the universe will work in your favor and shower you with opportunities and gifts. Let us consider the core benefits. Having advantages is more than just having stuff. It's a sign of being loved and graced by God. Having advantages may be like hearing gentle nudges from the cosmos, showing us the way to our best selves and guiding us with gentle wisdom. Benefits might be large or small, and they often strike when we least expect them. While you gather the necessary elements to invite blessings into your life, pause to consider the plenty that already exists in your environment, from the oxygen you breathe to the food you eat from the affection of your loved ones to the splendor of nature. 
If you want to maximize their impact, you should make an effort to notice the blessings around you. Practice being thankful for what you have, and you will find that more and more good things start to come your way. In every aspect of your life, be prepared to enthusiastically accept advantages. A career's benefits could also manifest as unexpected possibilities for advancement or as a shower of praise for your efforts. Embrace the possibilities that await you and have faith that the universe is leading you to reach your full potential. Split this video among five members of your family that are involved in your connection. It might also happen when you form stronger bonds with loved ones or meet new soulmates who enrich your life in significant ways. Love and friendship are soul-nourishing relationships, so cherish them and be open to accepting love and help from others. Also, prepare yourself to embrace health benefits with open arms. Your body is a sanctuary, a holy vessel through which you experience the marvels and delights of life. Acknowledge your body's natural ability to heal and rejuvenate itself by giving it the love and attention it deserves, fueling it with nutritious food, regular exercise, and plenty of relaxation. Embrace the daily gifts of thriving health and strength as they float your way. Keep in mind that you are deserving of all the beautiful things that life has to offer as you welcome blessings with open hands. Love, riches, and joy should be yours right now since you are the universe's beloved toddler. Incorporate the boundless opportunities that await you with unwavering trust and self-assurance, letting go of any uncertainties or anxieties that may hinder your progress. Prepare yourself to receive blessings with open arms, my love. Believe in the universe's capacity to help you reach your full potential and know that you are loved and supported no matter how far you fall. Miracles will happen in every facet of your life if you welcome the journey with an attitude of thankfulness and delight. In the midst of your times of doubt and uncertainty, when the road ahead looks unclear due to challenging circumstances and limitations, know that God is preparing a way for you. You must know that I am hustling behind the scenes to concoct a plan just for you. Embark on this path, not just to reach your target, but also to learn, develop, and discover the strength inside your faith. Sometimes, you may face challenges that seem impossible to overcome. Behold your perseverance and tolerance. A desire that seems unattainable, an impossible goal, or a stifling circumstance are all examples of what I mean. Keep in mind that when you're on my side, nothing is impossible. When there doesn't seem to be a way, I always manage to find one. In contrast to your hopeless despair, I see a fresh beginning where you find barriers and I build bridges. I am by your side through thick and thin, guiding you through every storm while the industry's weight looms over you. When times get tough, I will be the one to pick you up and get you through them. Think about me, for I have plans for you that are beyond your wildest imagination. They are plans to grant your request and guide your destiny, not to do you any harm. They are plans for your success. Do not doubt me only because my paintings are invisible to you. Belief in the invisible and confidence in the mysterious are the essence of religion. I can reshape your lives in ways that are impossible because your faith ignites my power. Think about the people who came before you and how they overcame seemingly insurmountable obstacles by keeping faith and seeing miracles. I implore you to have the guts to abandon religion, no matter how shaky the ground under you may seem. Get over your fear of failing. Every setback is an opportunity to grow. With every failure comes an opportunity for success. I'm not asking for anything fancy anymore. All I want is for you to keep moving on and think about me. You may also encounter desserts on your path, but when you're thirsty, I will be the oasis you seek. At times of exhaustion, your thirst might become your fortitude. I am here to serve as your guide, your fortress, and your companion. Put your trust in me, and I will grant your every want in accordance with my illustrious wealth and status. There may be times when you go through things on your own and question whether I'm still around. During such times, take stock of your surroundings 
and find evidence of my presence in the helpfulness of a stranger, the splendor of nature, and the still tiny voice inside. I am inside you. You are not alone. I am by your side at all times, walking side by side with you. Your heart's desires come true, and I pay attention to your prayers. My timing is perfect, so please wait. What may also seem like setbacks are really opportunities to learn and prepare for what may be forthcoming advantages rather than rejections. As you navigate life's adventures, be certain that I am coordinating all of your thoughts. Embrace the teaching I'm giving you with an open heart. Every challenge you encounter is an opportunity to grow closer to God, become a better person, and strengthen your faith. My strength shines through when you're weak. So, my little child, remember this. Even when the path seems impossible, I am preparing the route for you. So, rely on me and let my power be seen in your lives. Pay attention to the promises I've made, but don't be worried about the obstacles anymore. With me by your side, you can overcome any obstacle. Hence, keep your gaze fixed on me and allow your heart to be filled with hope. I can't promise that the manner in which I'm getting you ready will always be crystal clear or simple, but it's individualized for you, taking into account your unique set of circumstances and goals. Join me on this adventure. Even if you can't see the finish line, know that I will be your compass and lead you to a future full of joy, contentment, and success. Stay strong and fearless, because I am by your side. Because I am your God, you should never be disappointed or disheartened. I will strengthen you, assist you, and support you with my virtuous right hand. Even if what lies ahead is anybody's guess, while you're with me, you can rest easy, knowing that I've got your back. Put your faith first, raise your faith above your uncertainties, and see, as I bring plenty to you. What seems impossible becomes doable. Take comfort, my darling, and continue to walk now, not by sight but by faith. The unthinkable is within reach, and the impossible is a fact. No matter how long the road is, or how difficult the obstacles are, I will be by your side the whole way, making a path for you even when it seems impossible, so that the end result will be worth it. This message serves as a constant reminder of God's presence and assistance in our lives, especially when we are confronted with difficult and seemingly impossible circumstances, addiction, illness, isolation, and problems within your own family are not inevitable parts of life. These difficult circumstances you're going through right now aren't going to be a permanent part of your life. They're just temporary setbacks that you'll have to overcome. Remember that where you are now isn't always where you'll end up. Beyond the suffering and the fighting, there is hope, healing, and a future. Your hardships, your silent difficulties, and the tears you cry when no one is looking are all visible to me. I know how heavy your loads are and how deep your sorrow is. But I also know this, you are not fighting this battle alone. Whenever you feel vulnerable, I will be there to provide you with energy. When you are sad, I will be there to console you. And when you feel lost, I will be there to guide you. No longer are you defined by your addictions, no matter how strong they may seem. Despite the difficulties, there is potential for growth and change in the face of these obstacles. Let me be your anchor while you break free from your shackles and discover a new way of life. In spite of the difficulty and the potential need for patience and perseverance, we will overcome this obstacle together. A physical or mental illness is not a condemnation or a life sentence. Rather, it is a test, a temporary setback that must be overcome. I am the master healer. I can fix broken things and make them whole again. Come to me in your time of need, and I will heal you with my love and power. Trust that I am setting the stage for a hopeful future for you, and that the plans I have devised are for your benefit, not harm. Feeling alone and overwhelmed by loneliness is normal, but it doesn't last forever. You are integrated into a broader system, a web of interconnected families, linked not by blood, but by love and faith. Find relationships that may fill the need within by reaching out and opening your coronary heart. Always remember that I am by your side, a reliable companion, an ally who knows you through and out 
and loves you no matter what is in me. Although dealing with family difficulties might leave emotional scars, your narrative does not have to revolve around them anymore. The flaws in our homes are the most common sources of pain, but they are also the places where we may find the greatest chances for redemption, development, and forgiveness. Trust in me and let the knowledge I have shared with you help you persevere through these difficult times with love and determination. Peace can be restored and reconciliation may be facilitated, my little child. You are being prepared for something greater with every challenge you overcome. Your modern experiences are not your destiny, but rather parts of your narrative. I am not required to go on your adventures alone all the time. I am here with you, offering my strength, tranquility, and direction. Give up the illusion that your problems will never go away. Be a symbol of optimism and the possibility of a better future. You will get through this with faith, determination, and my help. You will be stronger, smarter, and more resilient than before. I have some really special ideas in store for you, designed to help you succeed rather than hinder your progress. Goals that will provide you with hope and a future. I feel the same way about the power of new beginnings, the possibility of transformation, and the fervor of recovery. Every challenge you encounter is a chance to show courage, belief, and perseverance. Your life is a lovely tale unfolding before your eyes. Be steadfast in your faith, my little one. Hold on to my gaze and let your heart overflow with optimism. You will reach a place of healing, liberation, and tranquility after enduring the challenging path that lies ahead. You are undergoing a process of shaping, molding, and organizing in preparation for the rewards that will follow. Remember the pain you endured? No matter how bad things are for you, addiction, illness, loneliness, even problems within your own family, they do not determine your fate. You are meant to achieve great things and live a life filled with joy, contentment, and success. I recognize it as my own truth. If you put your trust in me, we can get through this together, hurdle by hurdle. So my darling, keep your hope alive. Keep following your dreams. What you are experiencing right now is but a fleeting moment, a stepping stone on the road to a better tomorrow. Nothing is impossible as long as you continue to push yourself to your limits and know that I am here by your side. The path ahead of you is one of triumph against adversity. Your future isn't going to mold you into your true self. Rather, it's about making an impact on the world around you. You may always count on my constant presence to lead, shield, and love you. We are capable of tackling any task, and we shall rejoice in our successes as a team. Keep in mind the vows I made to you in times of uncertainty. A life full of desire and success is my goal for you. Embrace the transient nature of your modern-day challenges. They are the catalyst for the adventure that is your life. Instead of letting the difficulties you're going through right now break your heart, try viewing them as opportunities to strengthen your relationship with me, your faith, and your capacity to grow as a strong and dependable person. These things will teach you resilience, strengthen your religion, and get you ready for the blessings that are. Your resilience and perseverance are being rewarded with every obstacle you conquer. Each triumph propels you closer to realizing the full potential I envision for you. Happiness, contentment, and success are possible outcomes of your destiny, not doom and gloom. Your destiny is becoming more fully realized every day. As you follow my will for your life in faith, you will have a profound impact on the world. Shine a light where there is darkness and provide hope to the hopeless. Keep in mind that I will be by your side the whole time while you get ready for your adventure. No matter what, I will never leave you or abandon you. In moments of sadness, I am your solace. In times of frailty, I am your strength. And in times of confusion, I am your guide. Trust in me and I will lead you through the storm. We can get through life's tough challenges together and I'll show you the way to the exciting future I have planned for you. My little baby, always keep in mind that the things you've been through do not define you. Rather, 
They're only milestones on the road to success. Every moment, the best and the worst, is a beautiful thread in the fabric of your lives. So soak it all in. With every thread and color, I am creating a masterpiece, a life filled with pleasure and abundant with blessings. So fasten your trust, keep your eyes on me, and go on confidently. Your future is brighter than you can imagine, and it is waiting for you. I have purposefully produced extraordinary things for you since you are my favorite kid. Believe in my affection for you, harness my power, and let my serenity shape your future. You may count on my unfaltering love and support as your father by your side through thick and thin. Your future is bright, and your destiny is calling you to stand up with confidence and bravery. Knowing that even better things are on the horizon, we will look forward to the future with anticipation. No matter how difficult life gets, this message serves as a reminder that there is hope and encouragement to be found in religion. It gives us hope that we are not alone and that we can overcome any obstacle on the path to a fulfilling and successful future if we just believe and keep going. Life may be challenging, and we are all dealing with our fair share of difficulties. It is a well-known fact that everyone has to deal with tough times. There are a wide variety of these taxing circumstances. Type 1. Love you, God. When faced with health challenges, money troubles, relationship problems, or personal failures, they may leave you feeling defeated, weary, and even hopeless at times. But keep in mind that those challenging periods aren't the end. They might be a genuine part of your journey. It's easy for me to be alone, but please know that you are never really alone, even when you're the only one dealing with these kinds of challenges. My strength and support are always with you. I am with you always, even when you can't see me, illuminating the path from the darkest places to the lightest and most peaceful ones. Never lose sight of the fact that difficulties aren't random roadblocks, but rather chances for personal development and education. You develop strength, perseverance and insight with each challenge you face. Learn more about who you are and what you're capable of by doing research. Remember that the most stunning diamonds are formed under extreme pressure when you discover new ways to overcome challenges and advance. On top of that, Everything that has happened to you is making you a better person, stronger and more resilient. They are preparing you for bigger things to come, giving you the tools you'll need to realize your dreams and live the life you want for yourself. Do not succumb to despair when you encounter difficulties. Instead, turn to me in your prayers and trust. Give me a load to bear and I will lift it off your shoulders. You are the center of my universe and my love for you has no limits. If we are together, we can overcome any obstacle. My vitality can power your electronics if you only lean on me. Also, don't be afraid to ask for assistance from people you know. Tell your loved ones how hard it is for you to depend on them. On a frequent basis, you will find that you lack the independence that you think you have. There are a lot of people who are eager to cheer you on and show their love and support. Remember that I am at work in the world via people. Their generosity and support are expressions of my love for you, which I hope you'll find comfort in when you face the challenges life throws at you. Keep your focus on your ultimate goal. These challenges will pass. Having said that, the guidance they provide is invaluable. They're shaping you into someone who is more understanding, kind, and informative about others. People who are going through tough times are looking up to you as an inspiration and a source of hope. Embrace the opportunity to share your journey, triumphs and tragedies included. In the magnificent narrative of your life, every event and endeavor is a bankruptcy. These exact and terrible moments are stitching together a masterpiece of great depth and beauty. You are creating a masterpiece in your life, and every obstacle you overcome adds a new brilliant stroke. Whenever you feel doubt creeping in, remind yourself of my promises. I have plans to bless you and not curse you. Plans to provide your wishes and a purpose in life. Your innovative tests aren't an escalation from my original plan, but rather an integral aspect of it.
they aren't obstacles on your path, but rather stepping stones that will take you places you never thought possible. So, my darling, when life becomes rough and you have to cope with challenges, remember these simple truths. You are stronger than you think, you are never alone, and you can overcome anything with faith and determination. Count on others around you for support while you take baby steps ahead. The difficulties you face in life are not signs of weakness, but rather of your resilience and bravery. As you continue on your journey, wear them with pride, knowing that each person has taught you something valuable, strengthened you, and drawn you closer to me. Embrace the fact that I am always by your side, ready to encourage you, love you no matter what, and show you the way. Take comfort, my little one. Your path isn't always aimless, and every challenge is molding you into the person God intends you to be. Stand firm, have faith, and be courageous. The road ahead may be bumpy, but I'll be right by your side every step of the way. Your future is bright, full of potential, and packed with promise. When we are together, we can conquer any challenge. Enjoy yourself as you triumph over each obstacle. You are now more refined by your hardships than by them. They won't be the last chapters of your story, but they will set you on the path to your destiny if you embrace them, grow from them, and allow them to drive you into the challenging future I have for you. A great method to subscribe to our channel for daily God benefits. No matter how bad things become, this message is a reminder that faith and community can always provide a source of strength and hope. It implores us to anticipate a better future and to see our challenges as opportunities for development. You've shown great strength, and now I have something wonderful to offer you. Every now and then life throws us a curveball, testing our mettle and sometimes even surpassing it. You have stayed strong and courageous as you have confronted those challenging circumstances head on. Your tireless efforts have not gone unrecognized, and we really appreciate them. Now is the moment to seize the rewards that will serve as a testament to your resilience, the goodness that you have been eagerly anticipating. First, take comfort in the fact that you are on the verge of experiencing a profoundly calming and restorative state of mind, soul, and heart. This calm is a gift from me to you. It is the kind that must surround you even in the face of the uncertainties of life. It will be a refuge from the storm and a constant rock upon which you may stand. Enjoyment is being brought back to your life. The difficulties you faced may have dampened your spirits as well, but now is your chance to shine brighter than ever. The ability to feel loved, cared for, and appreciated in the past is the foundation of this joy, not external circumstances. In addition to fresh prospects on the horizon, doors that were closed will suddenly open routes that were unsure. It's a joy that rises up from the within, bringing warmth, humor, and gentleness back into your life. These positions are a perfect fit for your skills, interests, and long-term aspirations. They might signal the beginning of an interesting new chapter in your life or serve as stepping stones to even bigger accomplishments. No matter what kind of repair you require, emotional, physical, or otherwise, the power to heal is with you. The wounds from your past and the scars from your journey are being healed, and you are being handed this blessing. Even though this repair method may take some time, it will be comprehensive in the end, leaving you whole, revitalized, and stronger than before. You become an inspiration and a symbol of the power of resilience as you undergo a healing process that goes beyond just restoration. The same holds true for the people I'm placing in your life. They will love and support you. Those individuals are guardian angels assigned to be by your side, encouraging you and showing you that you are not alone. In a word, they are reliable companions, allies, and guides. Their friendship, expertise, and power are all provided by you when you need them. In addition, many blessings are often showering on your life. This plenty extends to all parts of your existence, not just your bank account. There's a lot of love, joy, opportunities, and benefits, a wonderful way to spend your time. 
Most importantly, my darling kid, I am by your side every step of the way through every mission. It's my way of showing my appreciation for your steadfastness and determination and a physical manifestation of my love and preference for you. I am there at every birthday party. Being here with me is the greatest gift you can get because it serves as a constant reminder that you are loved and supported no matter what, that you are not alone in your struggles, and that with me, everything is possible. Listen closely, my darling. Everything good that is about to happen to you is a direct result of the hardships you have endured. Warmly welcome these benefits into your life and let them shower you with the kindness and love that you really deserve. Your vitality has been a blessing to the industry and now I'm returning the favor by offering you these benefits. They serve as a constant reminder that no matter the challenges life may bring, there is always hope, a reason to keep going and a better future waiting for you. The message here is a timely reminder of the hope and benefits that lie beyond our current difficulties. Faith and endurance lead to virtue and reward, and our strength and determination in difficult times are not in vain, it promises us. I appreciate you taking the time to look. We would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to our channel and leave a thumbs up if you found this video useful. When we upload a new video, be sure to click the bell button to get a notification. Amen.